everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, today we're at Billings Cold Storage again. And we're heading up to Glasgow with uh, 59,900 pounds of beer. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a big load of beer. There's going to be something's going on in Glasgow. And uh, this is the Roland 389 and the SCS box trailer. So I'm working on this consolidated express skin pack for it. And it's coming along pretty good. A um, few things to work on yet, not a lot. And the the, the uh, skin for the truck is coming along, or at least for the 63-inch uh, flat top, it's fine. But I haven't tried it on any of the other uh, body styles yet, so it's a work in progress. And I'm trying out this burnt orange color on it just for giggles to see all what that's all about, how it looks out in the sunshine when we get there. And being uh, the rolling truck, we'll should get a big show when we start it up. Let's see what all happens here. Hi, Dan. I hear you can use help with directions. Yeah, so we had the clutch pedal move and the gear shifter and yada yada. Kind of cool. And, uh, oh, the lights are killing it on this truck. The frame rate, I got the counter on. Look at that. Put the lights on and things go south real quick. Uh, put the headlights on, it's worse. So I may just try the marker lights on the way out, see what happens, but it's not good. And uh, we went through this before and then it all went away and, oh yeah, look at it. It's, yeah, it's low, so let's turn them off. That is interesting, but I got a lot of lights on the truck, so maybe that's it. Oh shoot, here's that post again. Oh, I think we made it. Got a Rocky Mountain double this time. Uh, these trailers here aren't going to make it easy. I think we might have to do what we did last time. Or maybe not. Let's see if we can get away with just turning up into here. Yeah, we're clearing that easily enough. Uh oh. We'd have to do a dosi -si do here. Do we get it? Ah, I think we got it. Yeah, oops. Oh, it's going to gear. Oh, we should be able to get this whole shoot match out of there. Oh yeah. Dan, get ready to turn right. Dan, turn right. So we got mom going here. <laughs> Yane suggested Betty, like Betty Boop. <laughs> and uh, Harvey said, no, she's your mom. <laughs> and then he, then he asked me if I cleaned my room yet. That was pretty funny. So we got the Z mods C16 here, cat. Left. Oh, that's interesting. Dan, okay, turn left. Good thing we're big and orange. People can see us without our lights. Or burnt orange, whatever you want to call it. So, I've tried to get in touch with Gamer all day, but it's not working out for some reason. He left me a note saying he made he made this sound mod with um, F mod, and he's getting it figured out. So he made it. He's probably doing the phrasing, and I got to talk to him about it. I wouldn't mind knowing how to make my own. Okay, keep right, and then 
Dan, turn right. Dan, turn right. I wonder if mom's noticed that there's nobody else in here but me in the truck. Can dispense with the dance stuff. Light should go green, there it goes. Yeah, so where is it there? Oh, 60,672 pounds. Wow. When I was looking at the, uh, on the cargo market, I thought it said 59,900. You know, that might have been a different load on a different day because I was cycling through the days to get a trip going where I wanted to go. Oops. So one had a trip about 300 miles. This one's about, it's actually only about 260, 270. But uh, it's, it's going to take us a while to get out of town here. And uh, yeah, we're heading cross country kind of up to Glasgow. I wonder if that matters whose lights you're using. Um, so I have all these little, uh, those little penny lights along there. I didn't think they would be such an issue. And they're ones that come with the truck from uh, Roland. Oh, this isn't going to work. That extended probably has to run first, so we're going to have to stop. So there's also, I selected the under cab lighting. So it's a, inside, under the edges of the uh, side skirts, there's uh, lighting in there, kind of hidden lighting. I've probably got the bottom lights turned on, so got a lot of lights turned on. I wonder, I gotta look on the map at uh, the next light and see if there's a, uh, a service location along the way. We could get an extended green here. Oh, just a standard green, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, dude, what's going on here? Guy's running a red light here in that, uh, what's that, a Magnum? 
Jeez. Yeah, there's no chance we're gonna make that light. Oh, this kind of bites. These guys didn't even get to go. No extended green or... Looks like there should be an extended green up there. We'll wait one more cycle. And if there's no extended green, then they're gonna just... Wipe the traffic off the face of the map. Oh, this truck has a has a uh, parameter. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't see one. Oh, that's no good. Is that broken? There, another red light runner here. That Tesla. Yeah, we're, we're never going to go here, so... Oh, look at those guys go. Wow, maybe we are going to be okay. Let me get out of here on this next one. So the suspension load, I wonder... Uh, there's two of them. I guess it's per axle, but... Per rear axle, that's interesting. Here, I'll zoom in on them. You can see them right in the middle of the panel. The two kind of in the middle of everything with the needles at the same position. Suspension load. It's in PSI. It's at about 100, just under 110. 108 PSI, maybe. And that increases because it's got airbag suspension. So is the load in the... Uh, is it the way it works and if you have auto leveling which uh that's something i i ordered in my last truck and um it has a sensor that moves the i guess a setting unit that tells hey more air in the system i'm getting compressed and uh so it's got to run more more load you put on it the more air has to go into the system from the compressor and the PSI goes up in the uh, suspension system you can tap into it I put one of those gauges in my truck like I just uh, it came with self-leveling uh, dual self-leveling so one on each side of the uh, the uh, one of the axles so it if you're loaded heavy on one side, it would jack that side up. Which is pretty good. Except if you're going around a really long corner in the highway and you're kind of maxed out, it will start to jack the outside corner up. And then as you go around the corner, you get off the corner, it uh, the truck's all cockeyed for a little bit till it drops that air out. Which is kind of weird. But only it really happens when the when you're right at the loaded to the to the max and I put a oops we going all over the road here I put a dump valve in too so you could hit the switch and the uh, dump all the air out of the system for loading so it's not jacking up and down and if you got especially if you got forklifts driving on the truck then uh, They go on the deck and then the truck's trying to jack it up and then they get off and then the truck jumps up past the dock and it starts to come down and real dog and pony show. So uh, mom uh, must have heard me talking nasty about her and she's gone quiet. So I'm going to do a video pretty soon on uh, truck systems. Uh, we can talk about things like air ride and we can talk about the air compressor and what it does and what it supplies in the truck and air dryers and jake brakes and the makeup of the transmissions and how they're put together, all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be interesting because a lot of you guys are going to have yeah, I mean, 
geez, a bunch of your, you know, ex-drivers or current drivers, so you don't need me to tell you much, but a lot of folks have uh, introduction of trucks is through this game, and so it might be interesting to correlate the real world of trucking to the game and see what the game has in it. That, and if you had an understanding of it, you might have a different appreciation for driving your truck in the game and learn some of the things that SCS has in here that are legit and help you understand what they are. Because you're not driving a car, that's for sure. You may get that feeling obviously from the size of the vehicle and the weight but there's a bunch of stuff going on here and uh, there's quite a bit of modeling going on to support it, I notice, and uh, it's worth noting. Oh, look how long this straightaway is. Man, I wonder if we can... Oh, it's kind of short. This guy might hit the brakes. Yeah, there he goes. He hit the brakes. Thank you, buddy. Here we got a two-way stop. Let's hope these guys aren't going to run it. No, we're all good. So yeah, our voice nav has gone quiet. Out onto the prairie. So, of course, this skin is going to work on the SCS 389 as well. Just driving the rolling truck because I haven't driven it in a while. Driven the SCS several times. The SCS 389 several times since the last time I drove this one. Looks like we got a Walden's truck up there going slow. I think it's a Walden's. Gonna have to uh, pause here and grab a photo. I've been pretty tardy on that lately and have been doing the photos uh, after the fact. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, I put it in neutral somehow. What am I doing neutral and low range? Wow. That's weird. Okay. Uh, now, while we're out on the road here, I'm going to try the lights again. As soon as we get back up to speed here. the parking's going to be like it said a tidbit and uh, I remember it might be a little ticklish we'll have to well obviously we have to pick the uh, where should I place it option there's no backing this one up so let's see how we put the lights on now oh the frame counter I turned it off for the photos Okay, we're running along at 60. The lines, the second line up's got a little wee tremor in it. 
without the lights on. Get around here and we'll just turn them on. Okay, now we got some jiggles. The lines are wiggling and a wobbling. Not so good. What happens if we go with headlights? No real change. Okay. Well, let's uh, leave them on till we get to Glasgow, or see what happens at Glasgow. Well, that guy's rolling along pretty good. We're going 67 miles an hour. That's nice. some jiggling big time so that must be Malta I think up ahead here is it yeah it's starting to complain about it yeah it's just steady yeah, it's all jerky now so kill the lights Everything smooths out. Man. Mm. Went all th through all of this with 146. I believe it was 146. Had all those problems with the lights. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Oh man. What did I just do? Lost my concentration and put it in way too low a gear. town put the lights on and it's okay that's weird eh messes up when you're in town with the lights on yeah I'll be horn swoggled I wonder what's going on in Ma in uh, Glasgow that they need uh, 60 some odd thousand pounds of beer. <laughs> Must be a big rodeo coming through town or something. Ah, wow, we're almost there too. I think this is where those beet harvesters are hanging out by the road right up here. 
Yep. Old fashioned ones. Well, I shouldn't drive, enjoyed driving that LTL yesterday all done up in uh, chariot uh, colors. That was kind of fun. I think we're on the uh, north side of the road. I'll get over here now just in case. I'll try and uh, get this skin finished up pretty quick. Uh, not too happy with the mud flaps, so yeah, we should look at those. I think. I'm going to change them out. I put the, uh, oh, we got to turn left here. Mom? There's Tidbit right there. Okay. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Oh, look, there's a parking lot over there behind the Tidbit. Oh, where's that's a Tidbit parking lot. Okay. Well... I think we might be all right. Yeah, and the mud flaps. See, it's got the staggered E on there. I think I'm going to put what's on the door. Expedited Express on the bottom of the mud flaps. Get rid of that E. Oh, I got Grey Ghost. Jeez, I made mud flaps for the truck, too. I got Grey Ghost on there. What? That's crazy. Uh, okay, let's find out what we're doing here. Oh, man, right here. Well, that's a little boring, but... Uh, okay. I know in real life there's dudes that can back these things up, which is just mind-boggling. All right, we're here. Uh, oh, did we have the lights? Did I turn them back off? I did. What's happening if we turn them on? Before we quit here. Yeah, they're going nuts. Where's, there we go. Yeah, dropping frames. It's down to 30 frames per second. Put them on. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, we're, we're done here. Alrighty, where are we here? Unload. Yeah, pretty good money for a short trip. These uh, combination trailers are... If you're looking to make money in the game, it helps. Like, double up the trailer if you can. I think uh, sort of B-double be the minimum, and triple so he's pay well and the turnpike double i was gonna do a turnpike double i wanted to do a turnpike double i mean when don't i but i, I drove one recently so i thought man hey, better mix it up and do a uh, um what you call them uh rocky mountain so what was i just thinking real quick if anybody wants to stick around i got how where can we quick travel to and just have a quick peek. Select a quick travel guide. So Malta, there's one. Oh, that, well, let's find out. That's at the shop there, I, I believe. See what happens if we get blowed up on the way in there. I'll land on the trigger, take some lights off it, and just see what happens. Oh, well, we're okay. So this is our property here that uh, courtesy of driver 47 and recon 
this is the garage in Malta you can own. So let's uh, real quick. I just want to try. Going to come on. There we go. Um, I wonder if I side skirts. If I just take the side skirts off, or can I? What if I did that? Do all the lights disappear? Yeah, the lights disappear. And do we? Oh, we still have that row. Look at them all. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's um, let's do it. How do we get rid of them? Here. So just get rid of a bunch of these. I don't know how good a job we're doing. I think there's going to be some left there. I'll have to walk over there, get a little closer. Missed that one. One there. Is there one there? No. I think we got them all. Okay. Let's run around to the other side. I got that darn hat working for this walking around thing for some reason. Not the best idea I ever had. So I'll find out if it's these little penny lights. Just set a, it, you know, as Recon would say, it's for science. So let's uh, spark it up. Get the frame rates where we can see them there. I like to see that line too. And just turn on the lights. No, well, lights are on and it's steady. So it's, oh no, there it goes. Shoot. Yeah, okay. All right. Do we still have it? Okay, experiment over. So those little penny lights weren't doing it. Uh, that's too bad. I can put them all back on. <laughs> well, thanks for following along, guys. And uh, I'll see if I can't figure it out. And um, I will also, uh, in this profile, hop in another truck, like maybe the SCS truck, and see what it does with the lights on. And uh, I'll report back uh, down the road. As always, appreciate you following along. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.